Hi, I'm Sarah with Herbalife Nutrition, and this is your post-baby cardio and core circuit. So of course it is so important to strengthen our core after having a baby, but it's also important to work on our cardio endurance. So we're gonna do just that. We have a cardio 30 second drill where you're gonna get your heart rate way up, followed by a core exercise that is your active recovery. We're gonna work to bring your heart rate down. So let's go ahead and get warmed up by activating that core. Bring your hands to your abdominals. And we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, think of bringing those abs back together that have separated from pregnancy. So inhale here. Exhale, use those hands just to kind of guide those muscles back. Two more, notice I'm raising the shoulders and then dropping the shoulders. I'm thinking of the rib cage wrapping around. One more like that, inhale and exhale. And now soften the knees and rock those hips forward and back. So this is a great hip opener, but it's also a time to contract those abdominals. So as the hips come forward, squeeze the abs and then come back to center. So I'm not so much releasing back as I'm just coming back to center because I don't want those abdominals to flare open because we're trying to close them up. Last one here, nice. All right, let's take a big old squat down. And as you come up, big shoulder circle back, down and back up. So sit back into those heels, keep the chest lifted. few more here. Get a little bit lower, warming up those legs. Last one here. And now split those legs here. Find a nice stationary lunge. Come down, drop that knee so you can get that hip forward. And again, we're working to stretch out that hip. Take the arms forward and squeeze those elbows back. So just reach and squeeze and reach and squeeze. Yes, two more here. And switch those legs. Get down into those legs, mama. Good. Tuck that hip underneath and open and close those arms to stretch and open up that chest. Yeah. Nice, two more here. And last one. Good. Take those legs side to side and just lunge it out here. All right, we can start to move a little quicker here. I'm hoping your body is getting warm and ready to work. Take those arms with those legs and go reach and reach. Yeah. Now, we're gonna count this down a little bit. I want one, two, hold this here and get deeper into that lunge. Again, one, two, hold. There you go, and push that booty back. So my knees are tracking over those toes. And on your last couple lunges here, we're gonna add a little rotation. So stay here. Drop that arm, see if you can reach for the floor and rotate up and open. Good, lunge it out, one, two, three, hold. To this side, drop that arm, open it up. Exhale, and one more time on each side. One, two, open it up. Yeah, that should feel really good. One, two, and last one here. Good, toe heel those feet in. Take the hands to those legs, roll the body all the way on up. Are you ready? We're gonna get that heart rate up. We have squats side to side. So down and up, clock is on for 30 seconds. So maybe this is your first time doing this exercise and you need to move slow and controlled. Or maybe you've done this a few times and you wanna start to pick up your pace a little bit. I need you to listen to your body and do what feels good today. Halfway there. All right, come on, mama, push. You've got about five seconds left here. Three, two, one. Excellent. Down to the floor, onto your knees and hands. So shoulders and hands line up, knees and hips. Take one leg back and lift it up. This might be where you need to stay. My hip likes to turn out, try to drop it down. Bring the abs in, and then see if you can reach that opposite arm out. If you can't yet, that's okay. And we're just holding and breathing. And now check this out. Tap it down and up. So maybe you just have one limb up. That's okay, you can just move this leg down and up. Or maybe you need to support yourself with the leg and just move the arm. That's good too. Or maybe you do both. Almost there. Last one. Excellent. Come back up to standing. We're gonna work those squats. You ready? Here we go. Down and up, 30 seconds are on. Your goal is to get that heart rate back up. 
So if you're like, oh man, my heart rate went down. <sighs> I'm just not feeling like I'm working hard. This is your time. Pick it up, pick it up. <sighs> halfway there, halfway there. More than halfway there. <laughs> Hang on to it. Up, back down, up, back down. Really exaggerate that now with me. <sighs> yes, and you're done. Come back down, we're gonna do the opposite side. I call this move bird dog, but I've heard it called a million different things. Opposite leg back, find that first. Reach the arm out if you want. But try not to cheat by supporting yourself with this toe. Relax that foot, lift both up. You should feel contraction in the glute, lengthen in the arm, and then touch down and up. So options, if this is too much, if you feel too shaky, you don't feel stable, then you just do the leg. Through the arm. Three, three, two, one. Good. All right, we're going to change up our cardio drill. So check this out. I'm going to pretend there's a big puddle here, a big step over the puddle, lunge down, come back up. So we're going down and back up. You ready? Clock is on. 30 seconds here. Maybe when you feel good, which might not be today, and that's okay, touch the floor. And you should start to feel a burn in this front leg, in the quad, in the glute, maybe even in the hamstring a little bit. Last five, maybe move a little faster. Three, two, one. All right, that same leg that you are moving with is going to now be the one that you move on the floor. Lay on your side first, please, mama. Safest thing here in that post-baby recovery. Onto your back. Legs come up, clock comes on, and that leg you are moving, you're just gonna take it away and come back. So your goal here is to close the rib cage, squeeze the abs. I'm thinking of my navel going into my back. And when you're ready, you can drop that leg down a little bit. Okay, and now I want you to find a spot that feels good and hold it. So that might mean it's just here. Like that could feel super hard right now. I know, you've had a baby, all right? Maybe it's here and then maybe eventually it's here. Okay, hug those legs in. Instead of rocking straight up, go onto your side first and come all the way on up. You ready? Let's move that other leg. Let's get that heart rate back up. Here we go. So left leg moving first, down, back up. And if for some reason you did, you know, a different leg for me, just make sure you get both sides in. Not a big deal at all. You're moving at your own pace with the music, without the music. I'm not even listening to the music, I'm just moving my body. All right, hit the floor if you want. 10 seconds left, I'm gonna move a little faster. If you wanna come with me, great. If you wanna slow down, wonderful. It's all about you. Three, two, one. This is the leg that moves on the floor, Are you ready? Down onto your side first, then roll onto your back. All right, just so that you're not over working those abs in a bad way, okay? So hit, legs up, tighten up the abs. Now feel this out, listen to your body. Listen, and then come back up. Okay, it might be really little, and that's okay. But eventually, I promise you, without those abs popping up, you're gonna be able to take that leg down farther and farther. And now we take it down, and we hold it. Press those palms under the floor, so I start to feel my low back coming up. I'm gonna bring that leg up a little bit. Hang on tight. Breathe with me. Three, two, and legs come in. Roll to your side and come all the way on up. All right, one more cardio drill. Let's do this. Legs out and out. That side lunge that we use in the warm up, it's coming back. You ready? Clock is on. Switch and switch. Okay? So you can really take this slow and be specific. All right, I want you to keep being specific if you move faster though, all right? Still get to that spot and get down low. Work those legs, get that heart rate up. Maybe you can even touch the floor, but because your legs take you there, not this. Chest up. Three, two, and one. Yeah. All right, you get to stay standing for this core exercise. We're gonna work those obliques, your side body. 
hands come up behind your head. Open the elbows out wide. Rock to one side and come up. Back to the same side. Use your abdominals to pull yourself back. Yes. Breathe with me. Exhale. Inhale. I just think of breathing out in the part that's hard for me, and that might be different for you. Don't pick up your pace unless you can keep the technique strong. Hang on with me. Last three, two, one more for extra credit, and come up. Okay, shake it on out. Here we go. You're back to these side touches. Down and down. Switch it and switch it. So maybe you're not feeling like you can go that low, and that's okay. Maybe stay up here and just keep it light and quick. Totally an option. I like to feel the burn in my lower body, so I'm going down low. More than halfway. Yeah, baby. Last five, four, three, two, one, and you're up. Active recovery, breathe through this, elbows back. We're up tall, and we go over to the side and back up. So I'm thinking of lifting this elbow higher. in, abs in. Don't let the belly pop out. And you might not be able to help it right now, right? Because you had a baby. But think about it. And once those muscles know what to do, they'll start doing it on their own again, I promise. Okay, last one. And you did it. You did it. So let's take those hands behind your back and just rock it out here. Catching your breath a little bit more if you need to. Still continuing to work those abs. So abs come tight. I release just a little bit back to a neutral position. Breathe, shake it out. Okay, and we work those legs. So let's take a lunge position and just get a little bit of a stretch here. Yeah. Drop that knee a little bit more if you need more of a hip stretch. And then sit back, get a hamstring stretch. Chest stays lifted. Flex those toes back. Stretch all the way from the calf all the way up through the hamstring. And this is going to take a little bit of a balance. So take your time here. Cross the leg over if you need to hold on to something. Please feel free. And then sit down. To get that glute and hip stretch. Yeah. And let's switch. Here's your lunge. Drop that knee. I'm still trying to activate those abs. Right? I had a baby three months ago too, so I get it. And I also have a six and a three-year-old, so trust me, I get it. And tuck this foot underneath, pop up those toes, sit back. Flex them back so you can get something in that calf too. And then find your balance, take a deep breath in, cross that leg over, tighten up, and sit back. I had so much fun, I don't know about you, I hope you did. Come all the way up, shake it all out. Nice work today and I will see you soon.